There are 14 units for veterans in the Freelon at Sugar Hill in Midtown. And something that's really interesting and really groundbreaking about this, they're fully furnished with trauma-informed design, which acknowledges the struggles and suffering that many of our brave men and women who've served have endured. So things like lighting and noise are taken into consideration. People who came together to do this only had about $3,200. And the furniture, the furnishings, everything, the veterans can take with them if they move. It's a newer concept in the United States. It really is cutting edge. That $3,200 strictly dedicated to furniture and decor for each of the 14 units for veterans inside the free lawn at Sugar Hill in Midtown. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Of the 68 units total in this $38 million development, another six are also considered affordable housing for the general public. And the rest will be rented at market rates. I woke up this morning with a smile on my face. Located in the Sugar Hill Arts District, the Free Lawn bringing together all kinds of people in an area steeped in history. Sugar Hill was a thriving entertainment district in the 1940s through the 60s with many black-owned businesses. The Sugar Hill Arts District also designated a national and local historic district 20 years ago. And because of where this is located and because it's this historic black um, arts district, it was really important for us to like, you know, have this sense of like, everybody belongs here. The project made a reality by preservation of affordable housing and developed Detroit using, of course, private and public funding. The building is named in honor of Phil Freelon, one of the most celebrated black architects in American history. Freelon's widow, Grammy-nominated jazz singer Nina Freelon, was there Thursday to see her husband's dream become a reality. This is the kind of project of which he would be very proud to see the collision of different kinds of people, not ghettoized, not put off into a corner, but integrated. The Freeline also has almost 12,000 square feet of retail space and a parking garage. It's right across from the John D. Dingle VA Medical Center. The veterans units are available through referral by the VA. And as you walk through the Freelon, another thing you'll notice, there's so much art everywhere, which contributes to the ambiance. And something you may not realize is that all of these art pieces and samples of art, even on the walls in mural form, come from local artists, showing how rich our artistic community really is here in Detroit. In the city, I'm Hillary Goldston, Fox 2 News.